Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play. In fact, Let's 100%. I'm getting all of my intros mixed up. Gosh, diggly darn it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100%, Fallout 3. Uh, can I just say, the response to this series has been surprising. I feel like I say this sort of thing a lot when I do these recordings, but nevertheless, it remains true. Um, Fallout, typically in the past on my channel, has definitely done worse than The Elder Scrolls, and I was expecting as such with this series and that's not the case like so many people have been watching this and saying such kind things about this series and if you're one of those people thank you i mean if you're one of you are one of those people because you're listening to me say this right now thank you so much for watching and giving this series a chance yeah fallout is typically not as much of my bread and butter as skyrim is and as elder scrolls in general so thank you so much for watching been having an absolute blast it genuinely feels like a blind playthrough just because it's been so long since i've played this uh let me also make sure that i'm loading the correct file here. I think so, yeah. Cobalt level 8, protector, playtime 11 hours, 44 minutes. That seems like a lot. We are doing, ahem, the quest of Blood Ties. Locate Ian West. Deliver Lucy's message. So, if you remember right, uh, we've been talking with the family, and they are a group of vampires that want to harvest the citizens of the Capital Wasteland. Uh, and yeah, they, they're not really so bad, except for that one incriminating message that basically says they will not attack humans unless they are hungry. And that's kind of a thing of like, well, okay, that kind of ruins the whole thing, buddy. You don't get to really do that, buddy. We got Vance's terminal very hard. Ooh, I'm really interested in that. Let's close that door, get some privacy here. I don't think we can hack into this, unfortunately. We have an average safe lock here, though, that we can hack into, or pick into, in fact. So let's go ahead and find that sweet spot. Where are you hiding, sweet spot? You cannot hide from me. Oh, come on. There you go. 44 round magnum pulse grenade. Okay, again, I don't think we will... I don't think we will steal. Which I know some people will be like, what? You already lockpicked it. Just take all the stuff, buddy. No. No. We have to have some semblance of role play. You have to understand, okay? Sword cabinet heart. Ooh. Wardrobe. Uh, we're still hidden. Pre-war bonnet, pre-war relaxed wear. What about you? Yeah, I wonder if Vance has a key that we can pickpocket. He's got a lot of good stuff in here. Sometimes you have to look really close. Is our pit boy light on? It is. Sometimes you have to look really close for like a key or something. Uh, the desk with nothing in it. We got the bed. Okay. Yeah, there's some good stuff in here. Uh, if things go south, if things so go violent, I'm sure we'll be able to get into all this stuff. Also, I'm genuinely curious if we could pickpocket his key because I do kind of want to see what's in there. Go back real quick and see if that's possible. Probably not. How does pickpocketing work in Fallout I'm 3? I'm getting you. Yeah, I'm watching you too. Uh, keep looking over the mezzanine. It's, it's such a great view. We can kind of manipulate him if we go like this. Come on. Probably turn the pit boy light off, huh? Come on. Come on. Someone else is detecting me that's not Vance. There has to be a way to get into his. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, right on cue. What a great husband and wife you two are. Okay, there we go. Come on. A little bit closer. A little closer now. Okay, save. New save. Let's give this a shot. What does he have? Sawed off shotgun and the shish kebab. <laughs> Vance's sword cabinet key. Check that out. Uh, probably going to be impossible to take this. Yoink. You've been caught pickpocketing. Now they're going to get angry at me. I'm going to load and try this like two more times. Yoink. Oh! You wish to speak with No, me. man. <laughs> Everything's all good. Anyways, keep, keep keep going on. Whoa. So, not sure if you heard that. Um, little story. I have a cat named Greyjoy, and he is an effer to the 10th degree. Wherever he goes that he should not go, he will go. So basically, he jumped up while I was... And he knows when to do it, too, when I'm sleeping or when I'm out of the room or whatever. He knows to jump on and, and, and explore to his heart's content. So he basically jumped onto my kitchen counter. So, like, slammed into the popcorn maker, the air popcorn maker, and, like, caused, like, a big crash. And then the cats were super spooked. And I was like, what the heck was that? That's what happened. Not sure if that came out through the recording. Anyways, we now have his key. Let's open up his sword cabinet. Who's got... Ooh, what the heck? Vampire's Edge. Okay, um, that's a thing that I don't know if I knew existed, to be honest with you. That looks like a cool melee weapon that I honestly don't want to spoil just yet. The Vampire's Edge. Where is our melee weapon? It's on two, right? I'm going to put that on two because that's super cool. Yeah, I don't want to spoil that just yet. 
Also, my ears are doing the thing where, like, they are they want to pop, but they're not popping, so I can't hear as much as I should be able to hear at the moment. I don't know if that makes sense. Anyways, that's really cool. I didn't even know there was a unique weapon in there. I have to check, like, after every quest that we didn't meet, miss any, like, unique stuff. I know I said I would clean that up later, but, yeah, stuff like that I definitely don't want to miss. We have the Moresti Train Yard Station Security Terminal. Oh, ear just pop. What are you doing? Oh, it's like it's like in that weird limbo. Washington, D.C. Metro Transit Authority. Moresti Train Yard Remote Access Security Terminal. Unlock security area door. Activate internal security. Activate Protectron Security Unit. I think we'll just unlock the security door. These two, I think, would cause violence against the family members and maybe Ian. Uh, so, yeah, if you remember right, we're looking for Ian, who is Lucy West's brother. He stood there and watched as his parents were murdered and the blood sucked out of their necks, which, yes, somebody in the comment section confirmed that, yeah, if you have higher medicine, you can get more information. If It sounds like if you have 90 medicine, you can be directed directly to the train yard, by the way. So there is a little bonus there. Uh, let's go ahead and save in case this goes south in a way that I'm not expecting. Hello. Uh, what do you want? Oh, yeah, this kid has the voice of, like, a 50-year-old man. Uh, you're a bitch to find. I've been looking for you. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. He's worse than my parents. Yeah, I'm sorry, Ian. My ears literally will not, like, reset. This is really bizarre. I can't hear everything to the amount that I normally do. Anyways. I'm sorry, Ian, but your parents are dead. You think I don't know that? You think I don't know what I did? Did we? Yeah, I was gonna say, did we know that he did that? I guess we did. I know what you did. Vance told me everything. You seem awfully troubled, Ian. What did you do? It doesn't matter what happened in the past. Get a hold of yourself! I know what you did. Vance told me everything. Then you must think I'm some kind of a monster. Well, uh, kind of. I'll be honest. Yeah, you killed your own parents and sucked the blood out of their neck, right? Because you have, what, some cannibalistic rage? Is that even how it really works in real life? Look, Ian, I know lost too, and I know it hurts, but staying here isn't the answer. I give up. Fine, stay here and cry. Maybe I can help you. Um, I think this one. Look, Ian, I know lost too. I know it hurts, but staying here isn't the answer. There's something inside me, something completely messed up. I'm a mutant, a fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? I can understand that. Yeah, we have a speech 54% chance. Let's go home, Ian. The only way to beat your nightmares is to face them. True. Read this letter Ian Lucy wrote it. I bet it will change your mind. Then stay. I think you belong here with the family. Lucy is still alive. I bet she misses you. Yeah, something's wrong. You're a bunch of murderers. Yeah, for real. I mean, they're a bunch of murderers, right? Uh, this is the weird thing about this quest is that they're straight up just murderers. That one thing confirmed it. Okay, let's go home, Ian. The only way to beat your nightmares is to face them. You know, for a second there, you sounded just like Vance. And you're right. I don't know what I'm running away from, but given time, maybe things can go back to the way they used to be. Please tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. I'm just gonna gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back. Sounds good, Ian. Um, yeah, this is a weird quest. Speak to, Van speak to Vance about Ian's decision. Also, one of my ears popped. They're still weird. Uh, ear update 2022. One of GV's ears has returned to normal. The other one still. Word is out. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's close these. Let's look. Let's close these. Let's look over here. There's nothing over here. Not even a med kit. Boring. All right, so, yeah, don't forget that freaking vampire's nice edge. Also, can we talk again. more... I guess we'll say, yeah, we'll go talk to Ian over at Ar Arafu. So, yeah, this is typically how I do this quest. Uh, when it comes to the speech checks, I think we'll go for them. Uh, oh, yeah, we checked this out. I really want to know what's in his terminal, though. I wonder if we can get his password somehow. Usually you get it through talking to people or you find, like, a slip of paper somewhere. Really curious. Uh, yeah, I think we should be good. This is the way that I typically finish this quest. Hello. I trust your talk with young Ian went well. I am quite interested in learning the results of your discussion. Did he come to a decision? Ear update! The other ear popped. Finally, my god, that was weird. Uh, yes. Before I talk about Ian, there's still the matter of Arafu to discuss. True. Wait, what about Arafu? You can't just pray on them anytime you're hungry. How did you know Ian was trying to decide to stay or leave? Uh, wait, what about Arafu? You can't just pray on them anytime you're hungry. You wish to arrive at some sort of a bargain? Yeah, speech 54% give these people a chance, they're defenseless, medicine, vampires can drink any kind of human blood, even from blood packs. And there we go. Intelligence, there must be an alternative source of blood you can survive on. How can I convince you to stop praying? If you keep attacking Arfu, they'll fight back until everyone's dead. True. Uh, 
kind of want to try to pass this, and then we can probably go for that. This will give us experience. The skill checks don't give us experience, which is kind of weird. But if we do this, I think we get more from it, actually. Vampires can drink any kind of human blood, even from blood packs. Curious. Many years ago, I survived by drinking from fresh blood packs I recovered from hospital ruins. The problem was that these blood packs were scarce. What do you propose? Our food donates blood packs and you leave the town alone. Our food donates blood packs in exchange you protect. Oh, our food will sell you blood packs and you leave the town alone. Yeah, that's the most symbiotic and good right there. Our food donates blood packs in exchange you protect them. Agreed. Please take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them and then return to me with their decision. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. It is a lesson I will not forget. Now, what of young Ian? Tell me his decision. Could this guy talk more or could this guy talk less like a vampire? Okay, we got a proposal. Ian's decided to leave the family. I'm not sure I should be the one telling you this. Uh, yeah, honestly that. If you fear reprisal from the family regarding his decision, know that I would never hold it against you. And as for Ian having you speak in his place, I find his trust sufficient enough to accept what you say is truth. Fair enough. Ian's decided to leave the family. That's basically the game just saying we don't want to program Ian walking over to Vance and saying all that. Ian's decided to leave the family. It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather educational. Hello again. Man, can we got the shish schematics for the sh uh, the, the shish kebab, the sk the what the schematics for the shish kebab. We got to return to Evan King. This quest is so like weird. Trouble, What's on your mind? I wonder if the family I want to get his uh, I want to listen to that conversation, but we got to stop like spending the entire episode on dialogue. Got to have a balance. Uh okay. So yeah, this quest is very Please bizarre. Don't take Ian away from us. Or too late. We got to this quest is very bizarre because on one hand they sound nice, and you would expect to have to fight the vampires, but you don't end up having to fight them if you, you know, successfully do the speech check and all that. But on the other hand, again, they're straight-up murderers. It's kind of weird. It's not... It, usually Fallout is good at presenting, like... Also, is this the easy way to get out of here? Forget how to get out of here. Let's go to data, local map. It's telling me to go that way. Is there no other exit, though? I guess there's not. We explored every other little piece, except for maybe that. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's go this way. Um... God, that was loud. Uh, how do we get out of here? Oh yeah, this guy, what's up, dude? We're still cool, don't worry about it. Is this seriously the easiest way to get out of here? I feel like there would be a little shortcut a la Lucian LaChance in the Dark Brotherhood and Shaden Hall. Anyways, um, yeah, it, am I? Yeah, it, uh, doesn't, it, usually Fallout presents quests in a morally gray way, which is great for the, you know, apocalyptic atmosphere, but this one's not so much. They're straight up murderers, and if you don't stop them, you have to just, like, kill them, or they'll just, you know, siphon off of good people at Arafu, right? So it's kind of bizarre. Also, I was just thinking as well, uh, it would be very cool if Fallout experimented more with different races. Like, they could totally do vampires and weird stuff like that. Just, you know, blame it on genetic mutation, right? Like, you know, oh, we're genetically, we got hit with this strain, so we're genetically forced to consume blood. You know, like, why don't they do that? That would be cool for, like, Fallout 5. A bunch of different factions. What in the actual hell? Uh, okay, let's try this out, too. Uh, click. Yeah, we have the- Ooh, oh, ooh. Why- Oh! Oh! Why are you so low health already? So weird. Um, yeah, so we got from that quest, I do remember this. We get the... Schematics for the shish kebab. That'll work bench combined motorcycle gas tank, pilot light, lawnmower blade, motorcycle handbrake. When ignited and used properly, the shish kebab provides two important functions in melee. In a melee, slashing and burning. Uh, what was the name? Thoros of Mir? From Sog, Vice, and Fire, right? Thoros of Mir, I think. I think I feel like I'm getting that wrong. Uh, he would be very excited for that. So, yeah. 
Uh, the shish kebab is cool, and I thought that's what that was going to be, which is why I didn't want to spoil it. But yeah, the Vampire's Edge just looks like a Chinese officer's sword, which I think is a melee weapon. I forget if it's in Fallout 3 or New Vegas, but it's like a unique one called the Vampire's Edge. But it doesn't really do anything, unless it does, and it's just not telling us. Regardless, let's go back to Evan King. We also have to deliver Lucy's message. Uh, and hopefully I didn't mess anything up, because Fallout can be weird sometimes with completing secondary objectives. Like, if you don't complete everything before, you're not able to complete it and finish it. But yeah, I think we solved this in a great way. Uh, if we don't pass the speech check, I guess we just give Ian Lucy's message and then he agrees anyways. Uh, I'm surprised to see you. Yeah. I you'd run for the hills. No, not at all. There he is, the hero of the day. Indeed. Uh, it's done, Evan. The family will never bother Arafu again. I know. I talked to Ian, and he told me everything you did. I don't know how you did it. But goddamn, am I glad you walked up that ramp and lent us a hand. Thanks again, kid. Consider yourself welcome back here any time you're in this part of the Wastes. Awesome, you've gained karma, 330 experience. You do not get nearly as much experience. Oh no, we never delivered the letter. That's what I was worried about. Quest completed, blood ties. I have a propo- oh yeah, right. I have a proposal for me. Any help you can provide would be appreciated. I've been saving up stuff for emergencies, in case things with Arafu got tremendously bad. You're welcome to some of it if you like. Okay. Va okay. That's just alcohol. That actually d deters us and hi dehydrates us, but okay. Uh, any help you can provide would be appreciated. Sorry. The wells run dry. Yeah, but you can have your alcohol back, Jim Leahy. I have a proposal for you from Vance, the, fam the family's leader. Interesting. It seems they wish to enter into some kind of agreement. I guess it's better than pointing my gun down that ramp all day and hiding inside at night. Let Vance know he's got a deal. We'll do it. I'll speak to the others. I'm sure they'll agree with me. Sweet. Vance's proposal removed. Okay, I have to go now. Come on back soon. I may have some stuff for you. Like alcohol? I could use better things than that. Uh, that sucks, man. I wanted to deliver Lucy's letter. We never did that. Also, we never talked to Lucy either. And also, there's a thing with Vance, I, I, I thought, that we might have to go back and check on. Let's head into, not Evan King's house, but the West residence. This I is weird. Stay away. Hi. Thanks for setting me straight on everything. Yeah. Would you mind if I ask you about your unusual hunger? I suppose not. When did you first discover you had the hunger? I was about ten years old, and I was playing with Lucy down under the overpass. We loved throwing rocks in the water. We saw some wastelander trying to break open the Brahmin pens and steal one of them, so I ran over and told him to stop. He just laughed and pushed me away. When I fell, suddenly my head started to hurt, and my eyes got all blurry. It was almost like I blacked out. Next thing I know, Lucy was pulling me off the guy. I had ripped his throat open with my teeth. Wonder again if that's how it actually happens for people that I don't know. Cannibalism is a thing out of necessity, not out of not of like impulse, right? I don't know much about it. What did Lucy say she saw you do to that wastelander? She said I like changed into another person, that I even glared at her and raised my arms like I was gonna kill her. The wastelander took a swing at me with some kind of club. I turned around and jumped on him. I tore his throat open with my teeth. If he wouldn't have done that, Lucy may have been killed too. I just don't know. Jeez, do you ever talk? Did you ever talk to your parents about it? Lucy said mom and dad would never have understood. She told me to keep what I did a secret and that she'd try and help me. Thanks to Lucy, she was able to stop that from ever happening again for years. Every time I'd feel the hunger, she'd hold on to me and not let go. After a while, the hunger almost seemed to go away until, well. Yeah, Lucy's a good egg. If there was like marriage and romance in Fallout 3, I would definitely go for Lucy, I think. Do you really believe in vampires? I don't know. I really don't. I mean, I'm not totally dumb. I know they were in stories and all that. But who knows? Maybe Vance is right and vampires were just people like us who learned to control their hunger and drink only blood. I mean, vampires are regarded as feared monsters instead of hunted animals like cannibals. Kind of makes sense. And finally, why do you have the voice of a 40-year-old? Yeah, okay. Okay, I didn't mean to offend. I know it's painful, but let's talk about what happened in Arafu. It actually kind of makes me feel better to talk about it. Go ahead. Why did you do what you did to your own parents? I wish I could answer that. I really do. I don't even remember it happening. When the hunger takes over, it's like being pushed aside, like something else is controlling me. I can see what's happening, but can't close my eyes. I don't even remember exactly what happened until Vance knocked on the door. 
Yeah, so how is this solved? What's stopping you from just going crazy on some of your Arfu neighbors? How did Vance know you were one of them? That's the weird thing. He has some sort of crazy sixth sense about or something. Maybe all of our kind do. As soon as I was with the family, I really felt at home for the first time in my life. It's like all these people are my real brothers and sisters. How did you end up leaving Arafu? I don't remember how long I sat there on the floor staring at my parents' bodies. It seemed like days I wanted to feed, to eat their flesh. But it was like a little bit of me was holding on. Then, out of nowhere, there was shouting outside and a knock at the door. I opened it, and it was Vance. He seemed to know exactly how I was feeling inside. He took me under his arm and we left. I never looked back. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Maybe there was some sort of weird supernatural-esque, like, genetic modification happening. Probably not. But, yeah, how does Vance know with a sixth sense or whatever? I saw the family's mark on the wall. What's up with that? Vance told me later that he was basically covering for me and allowing the family to... to feed at the same time. Since my parents were already dead, they drank their blood and left the mark on the wall. He didn't want Evan to suspect that I had done it. The irony is, they were stalking our town to feed anyway. It's almost like Vance knew this would happen. Yeah, and you just get a free pass, oddly enough. Okay, uh, yeah, there we go, perfect. How are things going now? It's weird living in my parents' old house with them gone. But, I'll make the best of it. Everyone around here is being nice to me despite what happened, so I guess it all turned out well. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. I guess you're just lucky you're supposed to be really young. Your voice is throwing me off, because, yeah, you just got away with a double murder. Uh, and everyone's cool with it. I have a letter for you from your sister, Lucy. She, she really misses being home, and she's asked about me in here a lot. You have no idea how much this means to me. Thanks so much. Yeah, no problem, man. Lucy sealed envelope removed. We don't even get karma from that? I have to go now. Sounds good. Come back and visit me sometime. Right. Yeah, definitely want to come back and visit you. For sure. Yeah, what a weird quest. Uh, I like this quest a lot. It's fun, but it's just very bizarre morality-wise. Like... Really don't understand how he just gets away with that, and then also how, yeah, Vance and the family want to prey on people, uh, and then just, like, you know, oh, it's all cool, whatever. Uh, let's see, let's wait 12 hours for 10 a.m., and I think we will go visit Lucy, I'm assuming. It's weird that the quest doesn't end with Lucy, or the quest doesn't end with, like, you having to turn in the envelope. Also, I feel like the reason we brought all those blood packs is I'm 99.9% .9 sure there was a way to donate the blood packs to uh, Vance, if I remember correctly, which is why I brought him. And we didn't get that option, hey. nor did we get that option to ask him, like, hey, we'll bring you blood packs in exchange for you leaving RFO alone. But I'm pretty sure you can do that. Uh, let's go into Lucy West's house, though. Hello. Hello there. Nice to see you. Now, is this game good? I was going to say, they better give me an option. Yes. I delivered the letter to Ian. Oh, thank you for remembering. With everything that's going on, I almost forgot about it. You have no idea how much this means to me. Thanks so much. That's it? You don't even want to know about him or anything? What in the world? I have to go now. Oh, okay. Well, anytime you find yourself back in Megaton, be sure and look me up. I definitely would, Lucy West. Um, yeah, as far as the Oblivion, you know, Fallout 3 engine goes, you're probably one of the most attractive NPCs in the game, and also very nice. One of the only people that hasn't been hardened by the Wasteland to a burnt degree uh, of morality. Okay, bye. Yeah, that's really uh, disappointing that there's nothing that even happens there. What in the actual heck? Okay, so now let's try to go back to Moresti Train Yard. Let's go see Vance again because I feel like... Somebody's watching me. I feel like, yeah, you're supposed to be able to give him blood packs, I'm pretty sure, which gives you like the uh, experience karma sort of thing. There's a lot of those little things in Fallout 3. So we'll see you when we get back to him, and also I'm gonna check this quest and see if we missed anything. Be right back. Okay, welcome back. There's actually a whole bunch of stuff that happens, uh, which I didn't even know about. Yeah, so we definitely want to return to Vance. I do remember this, but I forgot about it up until now. Where is ya boy Vance? Also, a little tip. You can hit V for Vats and then kind of scan everybody. So we got Brianna there, Justin, Carl, 
Alan, Brianna, Justin, Carl, Alan, and, 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 and. so Alan actually apparently goes to Arafu, uh, and you can actually get a bonus skill book, no joke, which is really cool, something I didn't know about. Also, where the heck, I guess they're in their room when they're not out here. Yeah, and then you can talk to the Arafu residents to get, like, bonuses, which I didn't realize at all. Okay, where the heck are you guys? Aha! Okay, hello, Va Also, we're gonna save, because this is apparently something interesting that I don't know if it's gonna mess us the up or not. The welcomes your return with open arms. Always a pleasure to receive you in Maresti. What brings you down here today? Hi, Vance. Uh, Arafu has accepted your proposal. Excellent. I knew you would serve as an ambassador for us in good faith. I will dispatch Alan to Arafu immediately to help serve as their guardian and honor my end of the agreement. Your efforts surpass those of the average human. In fact, I feel almost like you are a member of our flock. Let's if not go that far. To learn our ways, you have but to ask. Yeah, so that's a thing. That's really interesting. Uh, can you teach me the ways of a vampire? To be a vampire is a life commitment. It is not achieved by my words. It is something you earn by your own will and sincere meditation. Sadly, I cannot fully make you one of us, but I can teach you how the lifeblood of others brings us regenerative powers. Since your body lacks the way to extract blood as we do, you must find alternative sources for your nourishment. Drink deep of the blood, allow not a drop to spill. Feel the warmth as it spreads inside you. You are becoming one with the life force of another. They lend a part of themselves to you. For a brief moment, you are two entities becoming one. Allow the feelings to course through your body as you partake of the blood. Feel it empower you and make you stronger. Once you have done this deed, only then will you know what it is like to be a vampire. Yeah, you're describing eating food and getting nourishment, Vance. Also, I don't know how you talking to me is making me a vampire, but okay. Uh, so yeah, you actually could become a vampire or, you know, get like, uh, vampire perks or whatever. He Hematophage perk added. Vance's teachings have granted you the ability to regain 20 HP from the consumption of blood packs. Isn't that interesting? Shout out to all the people that finished this quest and never returned to Moresti. Can you teach me the ways of the vampire? There is no more I can teach you. Use what little I have given you well, and carry that knowledge with honor. I've brought some blood packs to contribute. I can only offer my thanks. My people are getting accustomed to using these as a substitute for live prey. As compensation for your effort, allow me to at least give you something in return. Uh, okay. There, I was gonna say, what'd you give me? 16 blood packs removed, 240 bottle caps added. Not bad at all, huh? So yeah, I'm not sure if it's better to use those or sell those. Always a pleasure to receive. But yeah, you could basically uh, give uh, Vance blood packs in exchange for caps. But now since he taught us that perk, we can also consume blood packs to restore 20 HP. Which I don't, again, I don't know what's better, what's more efficient. The caps or the usage of HP. I do know they weigh, I think, too much for what they are. How are things going now? Very well, actually. Our truce with Arafu is coming to fruition. I've begun teaching my people to live off of the donated blood packs. The transition has been difficult, but we will manage. You've certainly done us a great service, and I can't thank you enough. This is why it sucks going full evil in Fallout games, even though they're so apt for it. It's because, like, it's such a good feeling to kind of restore the wasteland, you know, and, like, have everybody become friends or, you know, at least improve everybody's situation. I have to go now! I'm certain our paths will cross again. Uh, yeah, maybe if I store some, uh, if I store some blood packs and then return. Okay, the only thing that we didn't do here is get his, uh, terminal password. I would love to know what he's got here, so considering it's a very hard lock. I don't know. Usually Fallout, uh, does well. Is there really no other, like, exit? That's kind of, that's super surprising. Like, you'd think they would put a secret exit here. Yeah, Fallout usually does really well with, um, 
giving you like a way to get people's passwords. He didn't have it on him, obviously, uh, on his person. But I just wonder if like you could talk to somebody, and get his password or what. I'm curious. Like I'm, usually the very hard terminals have some juicy info. Like you might say like, actually, this is all BS. And I hate everybody, but I'm going to make them into vampires because I'm a psychopath. Something like that. So if anybody in the comment section knows if there's a way to get his password outside of getting 100 science and then hacking into it. Feel free to let me know. Uh, so now we need to return to Arafu. And this is something I don't think I've ever done in my life. And go talk to all... Jesus, that's so loud. Go talk to all of the residents. Because now they're going to have a new little thing for us each time. Also, does this guy say something new to us? No, that guy doesn't even talk to us. Yeah, so all the residents of Arafu now have basically a perk that we can uh, utilize. Uh, or, you know, they'll, 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 they'll have something for us since we've saved their town. So we'll do that. And I'll see you there in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, commenting, liking the videos. Subscribe with the bell turned on. All helps out this channel to grow. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you to my patrons as well. Bye-bye.